We got a treat for you today. We are in Chino, California with George Tahan. He's the president of Microgear. As you can see, he's got gear checkers, gear machines. I mean, it is Santa's workshop here, but the best part by far is George himself. We look forward to showing you the rest of his shop here in just a second. So when we got here, George was showing us all of his gear checkers. Here's a, a fellow's gear checker in the process of getting rebuilt. All around his shop, you'll see multiple projects where there's the true art of scraping and metrology, etc. That's a Gleason checker. Here's my little gear checker I took to learn from George Dayant, the master. Here's his beautiful one for specialty gears the Gleason gear checker in the background. Nice little uh, worm gear here he's checking. All right, so here's the part where I come to George and I say, George, I have this gear checker. What do you know about it? And he said, come see me. So I did, and I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am I went to the master. He was, uh, I, and I got to say, I've, I've met nothing but nice people in the industry of machining and, and in the machining of gears especially, everybody's been very nice to give me a hand on my quest to get better at our gear quality that we produce. And uh, so George is showing me this machine. It looks pretty easy, right? There's an indicator on it. There's a little deal that, uh, ooh, look at that. That little uh, anvil is riding on ball bearings and it has springs, variable spring tension holding it. That's really the magic piece right there as George is explaining to me. And uh, what he's telling me is that uh, there are arbors that you need to put in the, uh, in, in, the uh, in those two V's. You can see them in the foreground. And the arbors he's showing right there are the, where the gears go and that's where they turn. And the deflection is what's shown on the, on the, on the gauge so he was also describing ways to check it ways to make sure it's reading true and how to operate it so I'm getting a good lesson and then he brings me over to his beautiful one and says this is how it works now he's not only got uh, a more modern very role but he's got a wonderful one uh, this isn't a uh, setup he was doing he's doing one ad hoc but you need a master gear to test these with and every pitch of gear you could imagine is in this drawer. And you would, just when you think it's over, there's another drawer. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, this is Santa's workshop, right? He's got everything. So all these pitches are used to uh, check your master gear with your actual gear. And these are the hobs for hobbing gears, shaping gears, etc. Now we go back out into his shop. He's got this wonderful Micron. That he's redoing in the intro we showed a different micron that was actually running and making that small barrel gear but these micron machines are swiss made totally wonderful fun to work on according to george and, you know you can see the beautifully scraped way surfaces there and mating surfaces here's a very high speed spindle for a micron he's he's got drawers full of all the good stuff if you're a micron person Look at that. Now, it's pretty normal to have a little clutter in the background, <clears throat> but uh, totally warranted when you're in the middle of a machine tool repair. But his shop is beautiful. I mean, look at this army of microns that he has in his shop ready to sell. He has uh, microns, he has fellows machines, he has uh, some Barbara Coleman's, etc. In the back there is a nice Gould Neverhart hobber and to the right are the fellows. And here's an example. George not only does the gear checkers and the gear machines but 
Everybody knows he's capable, so they send him jobs. He's making these little uh, little timing gears right now. So we're going to have to go back and see George Tahan again because we were so surprised with his shop and so happy with what we saw. And the best part was George. I, I couldn't have found a, a nicer man, f more full of information about exactly what I needed. So if you need a gear checker or you need an instrument gear hover, he's your guy. Mm -hmm.